Hey everybody, Rob Sower here with Sower Real Estate at Keller Williams Realty in Boise. Um, kind of wrapping up the summer here. We've uh, got a little bit of weather change and I uh, hope you guys are doing something fun uh, as the summer kind of wraps up before we head into the fall. I don't know about you, I personally love the fall. Um, I like it when the leaves change and the kind of cools down a little bit. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys are, are getting something planned before the school year and everything else starts to kick off and get a little crazy again. So anyway, uh, jumping into uh, the market dynamics, um, as you guys have seen over the last few videos, I've been kind of talking a little bit about uh, kind of the month over month and even a little of the year over year. And I kind of started thinking about something a little bit different. I started thinking about uh, just the inventory numbers and you know we've been looking at i keep pointing out oh look at the chart here blah 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 and the you know here's our inventory we're at 1.4 months and you know what that's like a, almost a well it's an almost eight percent increase uh over last month but one of the things we haven't really talked about is um what's the bigger perspective so i started looking at uh you know all of these numbers here in fact, you can see our actives are up to about 951, which, let's see, that's up almost 7%, 6.5%. Um, I started thinking, well, when's the last time we have been um, at 1,000 homes on the market? So these are all of our, well, not all of them, but these are some of the, some of the records of past market dynamics uh, that we've had over the years. And I had to go back to October of 2017. Uh, to find uh, the last time that we had been above a thousand homes on the market. So why does that matter? Well, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, <laughs> but it's just kind of interesting because we've been below that consistently for quite a while. And now, as you can see, we're getting up to 951 homes on the market. Now, the big thing about that is everything else and how that compares to it because you can have a thousand homes on the market and only have you know 20 people out there looking and your inventory number is going to be a super strong buyer's market well that's not the case here but we are seeing a softening of things in fact as I'm looking at the numbers here you know even looking at June uh, versus uh, you know this most recent uh, July uh, active listings went from 893 to 951, so that dropped, that went up about 6.5%, uh, like I had mentioned. Pendings went from 952 to 911, so they actually went down a little over 4%. And then the closed, pretty much the same, about 1.5% uh, increase. Uh, the other thing is our average home sale price is about a 0.71% increase. So um, all that is to say that we're seeing the market slow down a little bit. I think some of that is seasonal. However, I do also think that, um, I just think we're getting a little bit of buyer fatigue. And, um, you know, these prices keep going up and it, they can only go up for so long before people start, I don't know, just saying no. <laughs> so um, I don't know if we're there yet or not. Um, one other thing, uh, that I wanted to mention. See, average days on market about the same, 24. Um, oh, this was the other thing. So if you look here at this little stat, this is our uh, uh, equity increase for the year as at about 6.1%. 2018 was about 17% for the whole year. So now that we're more than halfway through the year, uh, obviously won't get to that 17%. Um, I'm thinking we're going to be closer to like nine, maybe 10, probably closer to nine. So we'll see. Anyway, hope that's helpful, you guys. And uh, hope you, uh, like I say, get out there and do something fun to wrap up the summer uh, as we head into a great fall. If there's anything that, uh, a great fall, uh, you know, the season, a great fall. <laughs> so um, if there's anything we can do to help you guys with your real estate needs, please keep us in mind. Uh, yes, we're super busy, but we can actually take on a lot more work than we, uh, we currently have on our plate. So uh, give us a call. Thanks.